The gallery test screens for many of the deadliest cancers before they become symptomatic, including those with no recommended screening tests. Let's take a closer look at how the gallery test works. To deliver your result, the gallery test checks more than one million specific DNA sites in your blood sample to look for DNA fragments from cancer cells. All cells in the body, including cancer cells, release DNA fragments into the bloodstream when they complete their life cycle and die. The DNA fragments act like a unique fingerprint of cancer. With this unique fingerprint of cancer, the gallery test also predicts the cancer's origin to help your healthcare provider determine the next steps for diagnosis. In a clinical study, the gallery test detected a signal shared by more than 50 types of cancer, including many deadly cancers responsible for approximately two-thirds of cancer deaths. If a unique fingerprint of cancer is found, the gallery test result will be cancer signal detected. This result will also include a prediction of the tissue type or organ associated with a cancer signal called a cancer signal origin to help your healthcare provider guide the next steps to confirm if cancer is present. Keep in mind, the gallery test does not detect a signal for all cancers, and not all cancers can be detected in the blood. False positive and false negative results do occur, and galleries should be used in addition to healthcare provider recommended screening tests. Gallery can be taken annually and does not predict your future genetic risk for cancer. The gallery test is prescription only. The gallery test is recommended for use in adults with an elevated risk for cancer, such as those age 50 or older. It is not recommended in individuals who are pregnant, 21 years old or younger, or undergoing active cancer treatment. Gallery does not detect a signal for all cancers and should be used in addition to routine cancer screening. False positive and false negative results do occur.